It's fantastic to be back in Croatia with International Table Tennis. Croatia has a huge history in table tennis and is a key part in Europe. We know Europe is a key market for table tennis with the amount of players we have, all the leagues around Europe and of course the history in great events right through from World Championships to the ITTF World Tour over the past year. So World Table Tennis is a new concept for table tennis. We're working to reimagine the sport, to reposition the sport in the sports landscape as a sports entertainment product. We have amazing athletes who entertain the fans all over the world. In fact, recently we found out through research that we have 519 million players and followers. So what we want to do is give them a great set of events around the world to entertain them and keep them interested in our sport. We have amazing athletes who play very, very high level. So WTT has a various levels of events and I'm delighted to be here in Croatia for the WTT Contender Zagreb. As I said, Croatia has a huge history in table tennis, you mentioned Zoran, Tamara, Slatko, you know, huge roles in table tennis, promoted the sport, achieved amazing things also. So again, it's great to have an event for WTT here. We had the youth in Varajdan, and we are also looking at other possibilities to create a strategy, international strategy. And it's been amazing to work with Renato and Josipa and the Croatian Table Tennis Association. A big thank you to the team, to the association for helping us. Huge effort to get this first event up and running, but I think if we have the youth in Varajdan, we have the contender here in Zagreb, maybe another one in another part of Croatia, I hope that gives a huge platform to show those young stars here in Croatia to then inspire other children, young people in Croatia to keep playing table tennis and our objective is to try to grow the sport. Croatia of course being a key part of Europe and my role here in Europe as the general manager for WTT is to try to grow table tennis across the continent. I mean, I think the pandemic has been a huge challenge for everybody. What a terrible time that was for everybody around the world and in sport. And I think maybe some of our populations around the world, they have a little bit of fear to come back into the venues to watch sport, to be in close contact. But we think if time rolls forward, I think people will be more inclined to come back to sports events. And then I think, as you say, it's up to us to market and promote the events. But as you see here, this is the first time that the WTT contender is here. So you'll see the new field of play, the new branding, the new look and feel. And so I think for this first year, it's good that we get a solid event, that the event works, that we work together in partnership, WTT, Croatia Table Tennis Association, and all our partners. And then I think we can build from here. If we have this event every year for the next three, four, five years, the players will know that it's an event that they want to go to. The media will know that it happens every year in the same week. And the fans will know. And I think if we do our marketing and promotion on top of that knowledge, I think we can drive people back into ticketing and to attend these events and support our great athletes. Thank you for all your efforts to promote table tennis. I think we are all working together in table tennis to promote our great sport. So, so thank you for all your efforts. I think. As we come back through the pandemic, as we grow this new product, WTT, with the help of all our partners in table tennis, my feeling is that if we can do it well and connect to all the fans, I think more opportunities will come to, to create content and create opportunities for things like TV shows. One of our goals at WTT is to promote the athletes. They are unbelievable athletes on the court playing unbelievable table tennis. We want to bring them to the, the world and show that they are stars. I think once we do some of that, then I think more people will be interested to have shows, talk shows, interview the players, go to the players when they're practicing, maybe walk with them in the park when they're with their dog, find out what do they like to eat, what do they do when they're in, in their downtime, what's their aspirations for the future, what are their favorite tournaments. You know, that would be very cool. And I think the more we build this product, I think there will be more opportunities.